kind of disrespectful, but in today's terms, people would unfortunately consider my granny a pick me. God rest her soul. So a little background. My granny was the granny that raised everybody. She raised her kids. She raised her grandkids and everybody else's kids. But something that my granny did that was the biggest disservice to the men in our family is that she coddled them. She made excuses for them. She looked over their bad behavior and she never held them accountable. So these grown, these boys became grown men with these certain traits that were a detriment to not only themselves, but to other people as well. So my grandmother's son, right, which is my uncle, right? This man is like almost 30 something year old, still living in the basement. This man went out and had a whole kid, child, raising the kid down in the basement. And I'm just like, how is it that my grandmother allowed her son to get away with so much stuff, right? She's never pushed this man out the house so he could become a better man. He was like an EMT, right, before he turned into a supervisor. And then he kept being late. And then he went back to being just a regular EMT. And my thing is, like, why don't you put this man in a comfortable position where he feels like, okay, I got to leave so I can grow and be a better man? She still continues to coddle him to this day. And she doesn't see it. Hear me out and let me cook. No matter how bad the behavior was, my granny never held them accountable. She either made an excuse for it or she just coddled them. No matter if they graped somebody, if they have harmed a child, no matter if they have um, beat a woman, cheated on their women, no matter how bad and dirty the behavior was, she always made an excuse and did not hold them accountable. But on the flip side, she would say things like to the women, y'all are strong. Y'all can handle it. But she would tell the men in our family, oh, y'all have been through a lot. And then would tell the women in the family that these men in our family have been through a lot and we need to shed them some grace, even though we grew up in the same houses. I remember there was times when I had to clean the whole house, right? And then I would have to go downstairs to my uncle's um, basement and clean his tub. And I would ask my grandmother, like, why do I have to clean the tub, right? Mind you, he's a grown-ass man, right? He's more than capable. He's not disabled. He's there. He can clean his own, you know, um, bathroom. But, you know, she basically, you know how Jamaicans are. It's an order. So I just had to go do it, right? Or I would just get smacked upside the head. But that's why he's not successful. Like, when I really look at it, that's why he's not successful. Because he never got pushed out the house like I did, you know? He never got thrown out, you know? And and he was never told to just figure it out, right? A lot of times I've noticed in these households, especially, like, African or Jamaican households, like, black households, the men are really favored and like babied and then the women are taught to be like independent strong you don't need a man you got to learn how to be a housewife at the age of 11 right you got to know how to cook clean wash dishes right and take care of a man but these guys the minimum they have to do is just come inside and just be present and they're and they will get all the accolades and all the love and praise and it's just it's just sad it's sad because when these same people get sick guess who's gonna be there the daughters the grandchildren um the granddaughters you know those are the only grandchildren they're gonna get is the granddaughters coming to them and saying hey you know i love you this that and i'm gonna take care of you right not them not the men not the sons they raised, not the grandsons they raised, but it's really the daughters, right? So yeah, let's keep watching. Same experiences, but the only the men went through a lot. Her coddling them from my observation made them emotionally unintelligent, made them um, violent. They could not control their tempers. 
Um, there's a few exceptions in our family of this, but the ones she raised, most of them are like this. They became unhinged. These men are very unhinged. These men are kind of lazy. Um, they're undependable. Um, and they grew very slowly. Like they grew and matured extremely slowly because of the type of behaviors that she let them have without holding them accountable with, and making excuses for their erratic, irresponsible behaviors. Something that's very noteworthy also is that these men are very unempathetic. They really don't have any empathy for anyone. And they were very selfish. Um, when she passed away, even though she coddled those men in our family, she couldn't call on any of them to help her do anything. I pretty much took care of her almost up until she died. Now, what did I just say? Didn't I just say that this would happen? Didn't I say that she would coddle these men and the same men that she coddled would not be there on her deathbed? They would not be there. And it's the daughters that they push away and treat so badly and dog them out and call them all type of names and you ain't nothing but a whore. Those are the same daughters that I got to come and wipe their ass and be there for them and sing them prayers. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. It's sad. It's really sad and it's hurtful. And for me, I feel like I still hold resentment towards my grandmother just because I saw like all the favoritism she had, you know? But I'll get through it because I got to forgive so God can forgive me. But y'all keep watching. And she got into the hands of another uh, caregiver. And these men in our family, um, they would steal from her. <laughs> they would take from her. She couldn't call them for anything. But guess who she could call on? She could call on the strong women. But she could not call on those men in our family that she coddled. My grandmother ended up dying abused and broke because of the way she coddled the men they would literally rob her blind of large sums of money and she would excuse it and she would be upset but she would excuse it because it were the men in the family who were doing it y'all in the comments please write below how you felt like you were treated differently from the boys in the house and Tell me about some of the experiences that you had to endure from your parents or any relatives that you had to live with, okay? I I am so ready to just listen and see what you have to say to me. I believe this type of pick-me behavior is why we are seeing so many unregulated men. We are seeing so many men on the internet having tantrums about women, kids, and responsibility, and anything unpleasurable in life. Because we have pygmies who do not hold them responsible, who make excuses for them. who This is a, a behavior that enables the bad behavior to continue. This type of behavior is a disservice to our men. It's a service to our young boys who are growing up to become men. It's so unfortunate that the men in our family that did end up growing out of these type of behaviors are growing to be something um, civilized. They had to break free from her because as long as they were close to her, they did not do any better. Personally, I don't think men can't handle responsibility. Um, for the most part, I feel like they just can't. There will be some that can handle it, but they'll still struggle and complain about it and how hard it is and stuff like that. It's just like in nature, like, you know, the males, they come, they they have intercourse with the uh, female animals and they just move on right and the female is just there to take care of everything right that's how I really look at most men right that's why a lot of times um you have a baby by this guy and you think that he's ready for fatherhood and you know he's done everything right in a relationship up until this point and you see the switch up right because something clicked in his brain, like, hey, I don't want this. This is too serious. This is responsibility. 
I just want to have fun. And then that's why he such up on you because it's not in their DNA to stay to stay there and raise a kid. Now, I'm sure there's some men that have stayed there, right? But majority of the times, I'm sure you notice and I notice that it's the woman that's rearing these children, raising these children, right? So I have to disagree with the fact that men are capable of um, handling the responsibility with grace and not freaking out right? Whereas women, we've been groomed for this, um, responsibility, right? So yeah, we complain about it, but we still get it done compared to them. So anyway, subscribe and like, if you want to hear more of my rants and my opinions on things.